The third layer of the IoT technology stack is communication. It is about exchanging information with the rest of the world, making the step towards extending the internet. For the Nest thermostat, the communication looks like that. In the middle, the Nest connects to the household's internet router via Wi-Fi from which it can communicate with the Nest cloud through the internet. The Nest mobile app can interact with the Nest via the Nest cloud or directly through the Wi-Fi network. On the left, the Nest can directly control the boiler via a serial communication. When this wired connection is not possible, the heat link enables a connection via threads, a wireless mesh network, to receive the Nest signals and transmit them to the boiler. As we see, communication starts with physical technologies transporting information. As this is a fast-changing landscape, there are many industrial standards for all types of communication, emerging and being deprecated on a regular basis. Navigating communication technologies does require a clear understanding of what is needed for the product service system being designed. Looking at the environment is always the first step. From a hospital to a household, from a single body to an urban scale environment, options already available or a load can vary significantly. Then what is the distance to cover and the amount of data to transmit? The bandwidth is the rate of data transfer measured in bits per second. Some technologies offer the ability to transmit and receive data, so-called bidirectional, while others works only one way, unidirectional. These network technologies are part of the first physical layer of the OSI model. The Open System Interconnection Standard Reference Framework to Conceptualize Data Communication. Communication relies on protocols, allowing devices to exchange information through a set of rules and conventions. It is important to understand the basic jargon surrounding networking protocols as they infiltrate all part of the IoT technology stack. Beyond the physical layer, the internet is especially characterized by the Ethernet, IP and TCP, respectively from layer 2, 3 and 4. Presenting information, layer 6 involves data translation, encryption and compression. At the highest level, application protocols such as HTTP and MQTT define the purpose of the interaction between two devices. The communication layer opens up the landscape from a single device to a network of things. A system architecture is the conceptual model that defines the structure and behavior of a system. It helps design and communicate about it. An architecture description is a formal description and representation of a system organized in a way that supports reasoning about the structures and behaviors of the system. In this context, we recognize three main architecture patterns for connected devices. Here they are illustrated in the context of domestic connected light bulbs. Smart centric architectures establish a direct connection to a device. The device is only connected to the rest of the world via a smartphone. Setting up is easy and no additional equipment is required. The light bulb is no longer connected when the phone goes away. Hub 
centric architectures involve a local hub similar to a home internet router this hub often plays the role of a gateway translating a local protocol such as zigbee or zwave into the internet protocol ip in this setting phones interact with devices via the hub the hub is continuously available and offers higher computational capabilities than devices finally in a cloud centric architecture all devices connect to the internet on their own or one of them is automatically chosen as the master playing the role of a gateway for the others once again designers must establish the communication characteristics including the physical constraints the speed the bandwidth the security and the quality of service based on the holistic view of the product service system